Oh, hello, integrals and differentials. It's all welcome back to my kitchen. And this video is finally on the final promo break card and polyam break. And he's going to be part of a heavy water tech with lots of very cool utility. So I will explain to you all the tricks that this deck can do. And you're going to see them in those matches below. So definitely don't check those out. Anyways, let's get started and polyam break. Now, this thing is sort of a, a, a tech, so it's better to start off the store with, you know, something else. Somebody who's meant to be on the front line, because he is four evolutions long. It's only going to be three now, but let's start off with Seismitoad, the most feared DX Pokemon of all. Because this thing has a reputation, a bad reputation. Quaking Punch, 30 damage, yeah, but your opponent can't play any items whatsoever. Have you ever been item locked? Yes, even though it doesn't have the hypnotoxic power, we're gonna have something to juice that damage up, and the lock is just gonna be quite painful. There's definitely gonna be item locks uh, for my my favorite during this video. And hey, grenade hammer, three energies, that's still pretty quick. 130 damage is very meaningful. And that text there, this attack does 30 damage to two of your bench Pokemon. No sweat, no problem. We have the Soothing Seas with just the... Uh, you know, let's just go ahead and take a look at the Soothing Seas. Soothing Seas heals 30 damage off your water Pokemon. And hey, your bench Pokemon are pretty safe. As long as you just wait a turn in, this is good. So there's pretty much no penalty whatsoever for a good, very good attack. And this is what we're starting off with. It's a basic Pokemon. Probably the main one Apollyon does. But here's another basic Pokemon, Reggie Ice. And oh my gosh, hey, it's another lock. An EX Pokemon lock. Resistance Blizzard. During your next turn, no EX Pokemon can damage this whatsoever. So, yeah. Well, they can't play items or they can't use their powerful EX Pokemon, so they're in trouble. And Ice Beam, you can paralyze them, flip a coin, and well, they can't even move. So, my main basic Pokemon are really, really meant to slow their decks down, and they're going to be juiced up. We're going to juice it up through Empoleon, Dignified Fighter, all of your basic Pokemons, the ones we just talked about, deal 20 damage. Now I'm going to be able to consistently bring two, possibly even three up, so it's up to 60 damage, and you're going to see that boost help me, you know, get some nice KOs and prize guards. So, he also has a nice attack, okay, it's 70 damage, two energies, pretty shippy, he has a fight, which he will, but in his better form. Empoleon Break. Now he stands up there with Seismitoad with the Emperor's Command. If your opponent has the completely filled out bench, 180 damage, one shot. Potential. But even if it's not one shot, it's still very high. Now I'm going to warn you. Right in the first match, you're going to see this attack is already bugged. It's still doable. It's actually bugged in your favor or sometimes not. I don't know, but from what I've seen, it does a little bit more damage than normal, but if it was balanced, it'd still be pretty darn good. So just judge it for yourself once you see Emperor's Command. You definitely see what I'm talking about in the first match, for sure, for sure. Okay, so these are our Pokemon. Our deck engine is gonna be, what is this card? I have never used this card before. I don't know what he does. <sighs> I'm not sure, I can't even read the text here. So, 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 so. Okay, Abyssal Hand, you draw five more cards. Well, up until you have five cards. Now, this is going to be my main way of drawing. So instead of playing regular, normal draw sporters, I really want to use this. And in instead of using things like a, a Burge or Judge or Shauna, I'm going to be trying to get the Octillery out through lots of Die Balls. Search your deck for Water Pokemon. We're all Water Pokemon, so this is really efficient for bringing out the cards you need. Especially when you got like a print loop. Oh, I need Empoleon. Grab Empoleon. Oh, wait, where's Piplo? Rare Candy. Rare Candy is there. This is, we need to really, really quickly get the Empoleon and break out. So, this is the fastest way to get them out. And you will see the speed of using the Rare Candies. And Skyla, this is really a Skyla engine. I got three Skylas, and she will help me bring out what I need. Water Pokemon? Got it. Rare Candy? Got it. Need an Octillery? Got it. So, Octillery and Skylar, those two together, will just help me set up my deck quickly. So, you know what, Birch, Judge, therefore draw supporters. We have Bridget. Because I have plenty, 
plenty of basic Pokemons I really want to evolve quickly. I want to get all my Peplops down, because most of them need to evolve. Or maybe I should get my Rimrates, my Reggie Eyes, and if I really want to, I can force out a size until when my bench is almost full. So she's, she's really good. Now we have Pokemon Center Lady. The healing in this deck is going to be insane. You're going to see that in one of the matches coming up, but with uh, with Heart Charm. Where is Heart Charm? With Heart Charm reduction of 20 damage, with that rough uh, Soothing Seas, which you saw in a bit, and the 60 damage heal from her, removing all special conditions. You will see extreme cases of phenomenal healing that just gives you a lot of staying power. And we'll get to the match room where that, that's really clear. Now, Okay, my Pokemon, they can get knocked out. If my Pokemon gets knocked out, I can use a super version of Skylight. Teammates, grab any two cards at one. Rare candies, double colors, energies, anything I need to keep on building momentum. And Verse Seekers just gonna help me play all my supporters. These iPhone 6 is pretty good. Now, let's see, we got Float Stones. That is not a Float Stone. This is a Float Stone, because I've noticed people love to pull out my Octillery off the bench. Which will happen. So this here is just gonna make them immune to it permanently, and you're gonna see it's gonna, yeah, yeah, it, it, that's gonna happen. It's gonna save my life. And sometimes, you know, maybe they might have a hard charm. You just need to just switch because they're stuck, they're asleep, they're paralyzed. So we just have one switch just in case for that. We got the professor's letter. So Skyla, if I need energy, Skyla can hunt me at least something that gives me two energies. And my Pokémon have very little, I mean, energy cost in the first place, so it's not too bad. Three is the maximum. We got Double Colors Energy, got Size Metode, Reggie Ice can use it, and pretty much any Pokémon can use it, technically. But it's better for these two, and I think that is it. This is my deck. So let me show you how this deck is, and let me just point out what uh, what you're gonna see coming up. So first up, we're gonna move into Mega Mewtwo. That Piplup is going to have a very bad day. You're going to see how this turns out. And you're going to see him poly and break really soon. Really what his attack is in this current state. And next up, Water vs. Water. Seismitoad, Seismitoad, Mega Blastoise, Reggie Ice. We have a very similar Pokemon. It's, it's a good duel. It's a good match. A lot of back and forth. And coming up, this match right here. You see I have 160 damage on me? I bet that can go to zero. This match will showcase how my healing potential is for this deck. And next up, oh, Minetric Bats. This thing's popular in tournaments. So yeah, if you're, you've been familiar with the regular training card game, let's see how it takes on a real deck. I think, I think. Or maybe it's a new variant. And this is the most humiliating match I've played because of a certain cards that get prized. You can see he has one prize card left. This is actually the beginning of the match. So, it's all to come. Here we go, Mega Mewtwo. B is for Bunny. If you Wikipedia Bunny, it takes you to Rabbit. So that's the actual name. And welcome to another Empoleon Break Match. Wow, Mewtwo, Toxic Girl. Okay, this is Kayorn Kids from Noragami, the anime, and... Gengar, Toxicrow, Mewtwo. Where are you, Reggie Ice? I'm just gonna take my Reggie Ice out and just show you. Hey, buddy. You got something to deal with me? So. I'm gonna charge my back, Piplup. There we go, and I'm gonna end my turn. That is it, because I cannot evolve any of my Pokemon. I need to evolve my Pokemon, which Skyla, Ultra Ball, all are gonna get me some more cards. So. Uh, I really wanna be charging up Reggie Ice, though. But we may just have to fight with the uh, Bollock. Yeah, because I'm charging up now. We see a Spirit Link, but luckily, pretty much most of my Pokemon can attack with two energies. Yeah, they can start attacking with two energies. Three is the maximum, and that's pretty bad. So we see Steven. Steven. Okay, Steven's gonna call him. Hey, uh, I really want Bridget. And he's gonna get an energy. So, so this Mewtwo Shatter Shot, 60 damage. Probably if that thing has a Mewtwo Spirit Link, that's not good for me. And hopefully he's running Mewtwo Y, the more popular Mewtwo, because that thing gonna hit the Reggie Ice. So he's gonna use Evil Soda, it's not gonna be Haunter. You're gonna evolve your Mewtwo, man. You're gonna evolve Mewtwo Y. Do not be X, because X, I'm not gonna stand a chance against X. 
yeah, because that's gonna one-shot KO everything over and over and over. So evil soda, unless this thing is prized. So the soda is like, hey, oh, oh, no, I was correct. Nigo to Y sucking Finny. That ends his turn, and we're just gonna go play town map. Skyla, I need you to grab me an artillery. So where are you, artillery? Please do not be well prized. Oh, I'm sorry, just the die ball. Now we can start looking for artillery. So now I'm gonna go search for. Sushi Master, there you go, Sushi Master number one. And uh, let's go ahead and ball you. Now I have to play the Ultra Ball. Well, I have to use the Invisible Hand in order to get the Ultra Ball. And we're gonna see uh, Seismitoad. Uh, let's go ahead and toss you down, man. Let's go ahead and throw you off. I'm gonna throw you off because I want to save that Birch. I want more cards, and we are gonna grab out Empoleon. All right, Empoleon, you're up. And there we go. Put this on you. And hopefully I can pull out Reggie Ice. This is where I want a Reggie Ice. I only have one. Oh! That is all I can do. I'm gonna Birch next turn. I'm gonna Octillery. And hopefully we can uh, charge up. So here comes energy. This may just be a retreat energy. So Mewtwo is gonna come out to fight. How much damage can I do to Empoleon? 120. So Empoleon Break will still be. Oh, Bridget! Empoleon Break! Here's your chance to shine, man, but that's a mega Pokemon, so it's not looking good for me. Bye, uh, Pipwop. And now let's see, let's pull my breakout. Here we go. Your time, time to shine, dude. Oh, yeah, break. Here you are. And let's go. Grab some more cards. I need a single energy, man. Give me a single energy card. Really? That's gonna take, let me take more damage, so you may be able to one-shot me with this. I don't want, I don't want, I don't want to deal with that. But first, let's grab out some more Pokemon to fight with afterwards. Let's grab out a Seismitoad. Yeah, hey, I'm Seismitoad. And if I Birch and don't get energy, I'm bad. But let me calculate the damage. She can... We're going to have to deal with this, man. I don't want it. I don't want to give him any, any, any help. So Tails, there's energy. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. And next up, we can even follow up with a seismic toe for an item lock. And Emperor's Command. That's gonna do. What? Only, only, only 60 damage. One, two, three, four, five, six. What in the world? Oh my gosh. Psychic Infinity. And K almost K zone me. That's not fair. I I used I okay. We're gonna charge you up. That just happened. We're gonna use Bridget and fill up my bench. Just gonna play it out, guys. So grab me some more cards. And what do we got? It's time to use Octillery. So grab me some more cards. Please grab me something awesome, nice. And still nothing else. Emperor's command us 30 times. Stuff. Cards. You have to play 150 damage. There we go. That's right. That's better. Unless, unless I was, I don't know. I don't know. In that case, what do we need? We got Pokemon Center Lady, and we're gonna get a Verse Seeker. So if you are still alive next turn, awesome. So now Sleep Poison. Oh, flip a coin. If as I win, if tails, do. Oh. So he's gonna charge up his back. Okay, his rear, his rear. Heal you up, heal you up, heal you up, and we got another Octillery, and we're going to charge up our Seismitoad. So, one more energy on this, uh, technically Seismitoad is already charged up. I want another Empoleon Break. I think that's it, guys. Empress Command, once again, and if Gasly falls into a Gengar, I'm not going to, uh, it's going to be bad for me. So now, let's grab a Hard Charm. Who's up next? Who is up next? It is Gasly. So, that's not good. Here comes another energy rare candy. Nope, it is Haunter. Haunter's up, and we're both gonna be confused. So this is the point where I want to play Switch. I want to retreat. Oh, I'm not gonna even have a chance to survive. So, Empoleon Break, this is it for you. you. Good job, man. You took out a Mega Mewtwo. Wally, two energy, Seismitoad, you are up for a plate, man. You're up. So, you're gonna have to take over, and let's see how much damage I can do. 30, 50 damage. If I had another energy last turn, put it on Piplup, that would have been good. But he, um, 
protection cube. Need arena. He did not have. He did not have Gengar. He does not have a Gengar. Oh, that's very. Con that's unfortunate for him. I am so, so lucky. So you know what? I'm gonna invest in you. I'm gonna invest in you. We're gonna go and heal you up. We're gonna give the hard charm on you. And you know, since I, I said that thing about my seismic Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're gonna put an energy on you so you can use your big attack coming up. And I can even switch. Can I do enough damage to knock him out right now? I only do 50. So we are gonna use Emperor's Command. Take this again, 150. Okay, you can actually tell this is bugged. So this time I'm gonna grab another hard charm. And there we go. He does, Emperor's Command does some a random amount of damage that is a so so. Okay, enough about that. Toxicroak is out now again, and it is... Oh, he's... Okay. Okay. And let's go ahead... I'm gonna... I'm gonna Verse Seeker again. We're gonna heal you completely full life. All my Verse Seekers on Professor's... I'm um, sorry, Pokemon Center Lady. So I can't do anything else again. Let's go put this Toxicroak. Or a Seismicroak. He's starting frogs. Here we go. Emperor's gonna man he should... 90 damage, but instead it's gonna do 150 damage. So, okay. And Toxicroak is like, uh. I don't know, man. I don't know. But yes, Mega Mewtwo. Gotcha. And you got to see how weird Empoleon Break's attack is. Don't worry. Right now, it's in your favor. And even though it was balanced out, I'd say it's still very strong. You'll see that in to come. Because he'll be back. Four Mega Blastoise. Oh, this, this is a good back and forth match. Now in the Super Bowl, like, I don't care who wins. I just want it to be a good game. That's a good game. He used four elephants. He called Strunk a proboscis, just like a mosquito. Welcome to another. I'm getting my turn first, but I'm Polly and Break Batch. I've kept him waiting just a little too long. And let's see what we're up against. Is water on water. Blastoise EX, and I am charging up my Regice. And he is, if he has a double colors energy on his Blastoise, that's gonna be pretty bad. Oh, he does have double colors energy on his Blastoise. In that case, that is gonna force a switch on me. And that means that the Regice I've been charging up is gonna be switched up for Piplup. Which is not too bad, it's not too bad. And Regice, I don't really, I'm not using Cyber Stone yet, so I'm not too worried. And for, time to switch. Regice has come out. Piplup's gonna come up. Yeah, yeah, that's, that, that's okay. Now, let's go ahead and grab out you. Do I want to throw Seismitoad down? No, I'm gonna Ultra Ball you. Because I see what the weather already is up. Let's Ultra Ball. Yeah. Why am I choosing an Ultra Ball? Because it's Octillery. Synergy with Octillery. Let's go ahead and throw away, you know, Verse Seeker. I can just grab whatever I want back. And I'm gonna grab Empoleon. Because if I pull a rare candy, this is going to be pretty cool. So, there we go. Grab me energy. Grab me rare candy. Okay, it's not. It's not. So we can we deal with that. You know what? I'm going to see if I can get another Octillery out. Do I have another Octillery? I do have another Octillery. I just don't have a Remoraid. That's just the weird... That's just... Stinks. So in that case, we're going to hold on to a Reggie Ice. Just because. And just go, go ahead and toss it down. So, no more red space left for me. And I'm gonna... Nope. That's it. That's it. I'll end my turn. I will definitely, definitely Skyla for Empoleon. We're gonna smack this thing. So, it's just time. And, and he's gonna charge up and... Oh, it may deal with the paralysis. But I'm able to evolve. Oh, that's a Mega Blastoise. That's a Mega Blastoise. Okay, of course, okay, you know it by now. Let's go ahead and use Skyla. So having a Skyla engine is pretty darn nice because you can just choose whatever you like and Octillery is just gonna fill in for you. So well, now we actually have a rare candy and we're gonna charge you up. There we go, Piplup and Polyan. He is no, he's not a bench warmer anymore. He's a fighter and yeah, grab me some more cards. Sushi Master, more sushi. Ooh, okay, Float Stone and Polyan break. There we go, Splash, take this buddy. 70 damage. I'm not putting down my stadium because there's no thing to heal. And he's just going to heal it off. Use it to heal himself. But we're going to have to deal with a Mega Blast. And now, uh, oh yeah. What was he? What was this? 
That was a float zone. That was definitely a float zone. Buy you some time? Okay. And Polly and Break. Time to show you. Time to show what you're made of. And I'm not gonna put the rough seas down. That's gonna help you. And I'm gonna put the keys up. We're gonna just go draw one more card. I'm I'm good the way I am. Yeah, I'm good. We are gonna use the Emperor's Command because he should do 90 damage. Final play. How does it do 140 damage? Was there? I don't understand. I don't, is Dignified Fighter help? So I'm as confused as you are. Discard two cards for a shaman. This has to be a shaman. This is a perfect moment for a shaman when you have no cards in your hand. That is a shame. That is the four shaman coming down. Six more cards, so he definitely has something up in the sleeve. All right, one more turn. I'm gonna knock your Mega Blastoise out. Okay, dive ball. Any Pokemon uh, Octillery. There's his own Rimmerite Mega Blastoise Rimmerite deck. So shaman into a uh, Octillery. Seismitoad. So this guy, he's he's got some stuff. Assault vest. Oh, I have double colors energy. Grabs them some more cards. He is, this is not over. This is not over. But you should retreat this somehow. Lysander. Perfect move. Perfect move. Perfect move. Okay. I'm going to judge. I'm going to judge. Yes, I know I'm going to have less cards in my hand. That was a nice pull. And you know what? Fine. Fine then. We're going to go ahead and put an energy on you. I see that's another... We're gonna go do this too, and if I get a switch or a float stone, that would be very awful if I pull a float stone right after. No, nope, but I can get a switch for a Skyla, or I could just fight on with a Wrenchy Ice, who is really pumped up through this Empoleon. Yes. All right, and he, this thing has an assault vest, so it's gonna take reduced damage from my Reggie Ice, which is still charged up through my Empoleons. I got two more Empoleons to set up, waiting. Come on, come on. Mega Blast always like, uh, guys, I want to go home now. Yeah, yeah, and oh, that's a Wild Lord, isn't it? All right, AZ is going to lift up that Pokemon. Shaman, I thought he was going to lift this up to fully heal it, but no. He set out this card, baby. And he is charging up his own Reggie Ice, who was weakened. I have no EX Pokemon whatsoever. I think he should have charged up. Well, that's the only non-EX Pokemon he has. And Reggie Ice is up, so you pulled up Reggie Ice. You could have pulled... No, you couldn't have pulled that because of Float Stone. Good job, Float Stone. And Piplup would only have one retreat cost. So that was a good move. Octillery. See? That thing is so much better than that shame, man. He's looking pretty jealous. He pulled his own stadium up. Now I can use that too. But he's going to do... Oh, I do have an Empoleon. 90 damage. I need to evolve my Piplup next turn to, to, in order to knock this out. It's basically what it's coming to. So, we're going to charge you up. We're gonna heal Birch, do you love me? Do you love me? I need a rare candy. I need an Empoleon Tails, but if you can just draw me those cards, it's gonna be awesome. Nope. So we're gonna put you in something heavy. Probably this. This is good. Let's just go ahead and play the super rod. Grab out of size out of the deck. And I just wanted to shrink my hand because I want these cards to be cards I need. I already, I, they are the cards I need, just not the turn. So we are gonna use Resistant Blizzard. Here we go. 50 damage decrease. What were you holding? An Assault Vest. This is buying, oh, this is buying a lot of time. I should just retreat at this point. Okay, so I know what I'm gonna do next turn. I'm not gonna set up another Reggie Eyes. Time is gonna be more favorable for him. So he's gonna use the first Seeker. Is it gonna be Lysander? Lysander? Seriously? What are you gonna Lysander out? So with the interface being like that. But wait, he can actually attack me this turn. Okay. Okay. And alrighty. So he made a little mistake there. And I'm gonna use my rear uh I'm not going to set another Octillery up, guys. I'm going to throw Barcher away. I'm going to throw Barcher away, and we are going to summon out Empoleon. So, Empoleon, here you are. Let's go ahead and evolve you. All right, we got another Empoleon up. 
And it has an assault vest. These assault vests are really hurting me because I'm, I accidentally put those double colors energies on one of my uh, polyam breaks, which I really didn't want to. Let's go ahead and put just a regular energy and not make that mistake. Let's go ahead and retreat. Send out you. You should hit pretty. I don't know how much damage you do. But please. Damage decrease 140 damage. Okay, so two prize cards. Got it. Took him out. Got a switch too. And Wild Lord is going to come out. I can still two shot you. I can still two shot you. Okay. So, just healed up his Reggie Ice. I don't have a EX Pokemon right down. And, oh boy. Grenade Hammer. It's okay. It's all good. Actually, I am going to lose a trade with that, so I will have to go switch out and send out one of my, my Empoleon. Yes, yes. So, Rough Seas again. There's already a Rough Seas out in play, and Auxiliary. Pull up another card. 19 cards, 16 cards. It's about even. Alright, so. Can we pull another? We got another Empoleon breakout. I'm probably going to Skyla for another Empoleon. Yes. Skyla. There you are. I got rare candies. And we're going to use Skyla for Dive Ball, hopefully. Oh, there we go. Dive Ball. Just up right on cue. And Dive Ball is going to go for... It's going to go for a seismic hill. And you know what? I'm not going to waste this. I'm just going to dump it onto my other Reggie Ice. He has still has plenty of EX Pokemon. So Emperor's Command. Hit this Wild Lord, but it's a Wild Lord. 180 damage. It does not have an Assault Vest. So it could, uh, it could, I get two shot a Wild Lord. Awesome. And now you can uh, you can use your Lysander. Be careful. I've got a Switch. And then you Lysander of one of my Floatstone guys. That's the thing with the animations. Because the wrench thing. All right, healed it up is still not gonna save you. We're gonna have to deal with a seismic and another Mega Blastoise. But I can one shot the seismic toad, so I'm not too worried. Where we go, Imperse Command and Wild Lord, take this 180 damage. Prize guard, two prize guards. Please let one of them be the Empoleon. Yes, I pulled the Empoleon. Hello, uh, seismic toad. Play another bench Pokemon down. He might actually win this trade against me. Ah, what to do, what to do, what to do. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe I should, well, we'll see. Grenade hammer. We'll see if this is still glitch. Ow, 130 damage. Can I survive another attack? Can I heal enough to, let me think about it. Doing my quick math, I cannot. I cannot, so I should full switch. But let's go ahead and do my other stuff first. Rare candy into Empoleon. Yes. And now I'm <sighs> This is a smarter choice. This is a smart choice. I don't want to lose any more Pokemon. I'm gonna Birch. Birch! Do you love me? No you don't. And you're gonna drop me stuff that I don't really need. So let's go ahead and discard these two cards. And you know what? I don't even want to draw a Seismitude. I don't need Seismitude. We're going to go ahead and just pull more cards out. And okay, those are cards I kind of need. I'll save that energy when I really need to do it. We're going to use Resistance Blizzard. I know he has an Assault Vest. But there we Still 90 damage. 90 damage. So I'm going to two-shot you. I'm completely immune to anything. Oh, I'm, I guess I'm not, not going to two-shot you because you healed it. And he's going to use Switch. Buy some time to send a, his own Reggie Ice in. Mine is still stronger, and I can still heal mine up completely. So, Sycamore discard. Ooh, you're getting close, man. You're getting close. And nine cards left, eight cards left. We are cart cart toe-to-toe. -to -toe. What are you holding? A Resist Blizzard? All right, damage decrease, 50 damage. I'm just going to heal it up. So there we go. Water versus water. My tech rules. Yes. Whoa. That Blastoise tech. So, in the end, I held through. And then Pauline got to show off again how such a beast he is. And we get, next up, we got... Yep. 
he's coming back out, but this time I'll show you how aggressive my healing can be. Is that 160? Yeah, you may. You may. Hey, it's for alligator. It comes from the Spanish word El Garto, the lizard. Welcome to another Poly and Break match. Let's get started. So, take a look at my hand. I see that I can get a artillery next turn. He's pretty darn important. And you know, Piplup, can you survive next attack? Uh, I'll put my faith in you. I'll put my faith in you. And let's go ahead and discard that stadium because it's giving him quite a nice amount of draw power. And you know what? I'm going to pull out a card. Let's go and grab out. This is a dive bomb. Should grab one of my seismitoads, unless all my seismitoads are prized. Holy cow, all my seismitoads are prized. So in that case, I'm gonna grab Reggie Ice. This sounds a better, stronger card. And I'm gonna use Birch. So Birch, do you love me? I'm gonna get more cards than whatever case, but he's gonna give me plenty more cards. Ooh, nice. All right, and rare candy and dive ball. Oh, we're gonna have to start off. We're gonna have to start off with Empoleon. That's new. Okay, so Baggin is here. It's like it somehow climbed the roof to a rocket station. So they're launching rockets into space in Pokemon World. And Rare Candy, we're just gonna see Salamence off the bat. It can use Shatter. And I'm gonna survive. Dude, thank you very much, Hard Charm. And wow. Wow. So we're gonna definitely involve Apollyon. And Apollyon. He discard my stadium. I'm gonna attach another energy on. We're gonna evolve auxiliary. We're gonna put a float stone on. So power how is not gonna do that much damage of uh, the more cards I have. So maybe I'm not gonna activate auxiliary. Yeah, I I'm not gonna activate auxiliary. Let's use Hydro Splash. So take this Salamander. Eat 70 damage. And now with uh, with a double colors energy, he can do not that much. So Birch, do you love him? Do you love him? He's like, oh, Birch. Well, he loves both of us. Birch is feeling so, so generous today. Here comes a double dragon energy. Powerhouse is going to do 40 damage. So he's probably going to hit me with another shatter. Now, given that, given I have a heart charm, I'll just take another 40 damage or 60 damage. Or unless it's not a heart charm. That's a muscle band. That's why I'm taking 60 damage. Okay. So we are going to see a Pollyon break come out. Give you another nice HP boost. So here we go. We'll toss you in. And it looks like I'm gonna have to fight with Reggie Ice next. So I'm just gonna go ahead and play you. Play Bridget. Let's go start working on more Pokemons. Well, these are all I can grab. My bench is completely filled. And now, Power Howl. That's a bit of a risk. Can I survive another attack if he does not have Power Howl? He can use just use Shatter and do 80 damage. And I. I think I would still be able to survive that because I have a hard charm. So maybe I just wanna. Not get any cards whatsoever. Emperor's Command is only going to do 60 damage. Hydra Splash is going to do a little bit more, but he... Okay, we're going to use Hydro Splash. Here we go. Hydro Splash. 70 more damage, so maybe there's a chance I can take this thing out unless he uses Steam Blast. If he uses Steam Blast, that's it. That's it. But I have to follow up with Reggie Ice. So he's grabbing more cards up. That particular ability is slowing me down. And he's, nope, he's not using Steam Blast. He is charging up his bag, and he's like, oh, I do enough damage to take out this thing. No, you don't. I live with one hit point. So, okay. Now it's time. It is time. We're going to use the Abyssal Hand, grab two more cards. Auxiliary. And all right, Reggie Ice is ready up for combat. We got another hard charm. We're going to play these two cards. We're going to play these two cards for another Auxiliary. Yes, two Auxiliaries. So, I'm going to have so many card pulls this game. And let's go ahead and pull some more cards out. It would be nice if I got this rough sea stadium. Awesome. And wow, Skyla. For a rare candy. Okay, 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 okay. So, so, so. Grab rare candy. Rare candy. Let's evolve. I want one of my Piplups. That Piplup. You've been here, sitting here for a while. It's time for you for another Empoleon. And now, heal myself just a little bit. Maybe I should just retreat. Unless uh, I'm fearing, uh, you know what? I like you. I like you, so I'm gonna retreat. I'm gonna save you, and we're gonna use Resistance Blizzard. It does not really matter. Let's just, yeah, let's use Resistance Blizzard. We'll just wait for the Hunter Up to heal me up. So now he's gonna have to worry about. Oh, well, 
by volumes. Oh yeah. Hello, Baggin. What's up, Baggin? It's like, oh, this is a different Baggin. It's not sitting on a roof and rocket ship. It is now in force, where it's, yeah, I guess, more natural. And let's see. Teammates. Oh. Okay, so that's gonna be definitely be a rare candy and a salamance. This is why teammates is good. So, yeah. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Okay, so. Baggin is definitely gonna become the Salamance. He's probably gonna discard my stadium. All my stadiums are gone, so I'm not gonna get the extra healing I want. So two more cards. I, I know what they are. A Dredigan. Okay, that was not unexpected, but when Dredigan is important because when it comes out, he's gonna come and smack me pretty darn hard with the revenge attack. So he's not gonna attack with Baggin. There's doesn't have enough energy, so we're gonna heal. We're gonna heal up our uh, uh, Polyam. And we're gonna use the rub seas. And now, since I have two octillaries, let's go ahead and get some more cards before we break. And we'll have to ask the question in a bit. Ooh, and Polly break. Two good Polly breaks. And now, uh, I've, uh, since I've already used my uh, healing abilities, we're not gonna use. Can I use Birch? And I think that's it. That's it. I'm gonna use the resistant blizzard. So I am using the Expo Pokemon. There's no EX Pokemon whatsoever. That's great. But. Middle two guards, always luckiest. Always easiest to choose. Double colors energy. That's definitely gonna go in Polly. So hey, Dredigan comes out and it, wow, it's got double dragon energy. It looks like we're not gonna see another Salamance teammates again. So if he had stronger cards, this thing, this thing would be uh, very, very tough to deal with. So, all right, Dredigan comes out and we got another bag and maybe this is a Salamance. Now, I'm, as much sooner. So damage decrease. Perfect. Perfect. I'm just gonna heal up. Archai. Rough seas combo. Oh yes. Now. Woo. That healing Archai. Oh, yeah. 160 damage. All the way back to one health. Then probably zero the turn after. And you see how hard charm and all my healing stuff just work together to kept me alive through that Salamance burst. And let's go, let's go take the tournament matches. Here we go, Manetric Bats. This is, uh, I know this means tournament, so I've been reading about that. And this is how it would stand up to such a stack. Here we go. That round one is for cats. There are more than 70 cat breeds in the world. There are 73. Okay, welcome to a first round of the tournament. Let's get started. This is Death by Glamour from Undertales. And we're going against Manetric. Wow, you just guarded Siroxic. That would have been useful for you next turn. And we this is Manetric Bats. Shaman. Oh. This is why you get Shaman, guys. Big burst card draw. And now, uh, now you can't really do anything with it unless you spend some more. Okay, enough about Shaman. No more Shaman bashing. And we see Manetric. Do not put. What the? Sick bash. Just for one card? Okay. And it is my turn. I'm going to item lock you, man. Let's just go ahead and throw you down. Throw this down, and Bridget, let's get all my tech down. Remember, hey, Piplup, Piplup. Everything I want except, uh... I didn't see Reggie Ice. I guess you must be all prized up, which is very not convenient for me. Waking Punch, you are now item locked, but that does no damage whatsoever. So, I am going to... Wow, this is a uh, Assault... No, something. There's a muscle band on this. So if he, if he cannot really evolve into a Manetric. Oh, run. Oh, yes. Why did you put this energy on this uh, Manetric? All right. So I'm going to take 40 damage. You take 20. And, uh, you know, maybe we should use a rough seas and just help each other out. So I see a level ball. Oh, I'm sorry. I always say level ball because it's usually in my deck, but it's not. This is really a dive ball, a much better version. We're going to grab an Octillery. And I'm going to evolve one of my River Raids. Let's go ahead and dump this on the next size token. I'm sure he needs it. And I'll, I'm going to see what this will hand gives me. So, Octillery, give me some awesome... Oh, that is awesome stuff. Skyla Rare Candy. We're going to upgrade your damage, Seismato. And let's go ahead. Wow, I see another... Uh, I'm evolving the weakened... Uh, Oct the weakened Diplop. So it has much more, much, much, much more hit points. We got a second Octillery, guys. I'm loving this hand. So, Abyssal Hand. Another Sushi Master goes into play. Oh, I can heal up. Quaking Punch. Tommy, you're upgrading Punch. 
and Polly comes up and was like, hey, smash this for 20 damage. You didn't see that because he was so fast, so ninja -y. That was so hard to tell. You can see, you can barely see all his damage. So now, what is he going to charge up? He finally decides, oh, I should have put energy on. 80 damage, 120. You know what? We got the Pokemon Center, lady. Let's heal you up. Let's heal you up, man. And I'm going to go ahead and... 80 damage. I can survive. Or, and, I, and I may be able to destroy you. Yeah, let's do that. I like that better. And let's go ahead. I'm going to use one of my missile hands. I don't want to discard any cards yet. Let's go and... Oh, it's oh, it's a hard charm. <laughs> Assault laser does more damage with hard charm. I'm going to give you this. I'm going to give you this. And... Maybe if we pulled it, we pulled uh, another water energy. Nope, float stone. Definitely gonna go into this auxiliary. And I'm gonna use Quaking Punch. No items for you. You shall not. Oh, you're almost gone. And, you know, putting another energy was not worth it. Probably. Probably. But now I am gonna be able to use really huge burst with the grenade hammer. In fact, if I get another. If I get another poly up, I can one shot that following guy. But first, I'm gonna have to deal with a severe amount of damage. And, am I going to get something useful? No. Here, you can have a double cause energy. And, I'm going to have to Birch. I just have to, guys. Birch, do you love me? Do you love me, Tails? But give me the right cards. That's just fine, too. That's not the right cards. So, we're going to finish you off with a Quaking Punch. Your final Quaking Punch. Lock you down. Oh, it's not final. Alright, he's going to win the trade. He's going to win the trade. And that water energy is a bit of a So calm down now. Calm down. You still got this. And yeah. Overrun. And now this time uh, you have to use it. Wow. You let me live? No, no, no. That was a muscle man. He calculated correctly. And it's got to go for Seismato. So here we go. Seismato. Let's just keep the lock on. Let's keep the lock on. You have more cards than I do. I don't like that. Let's put an energy on. I'm going to use Ultra Ball. No, I cannot use... I want to see what other color that I have. So before I use Ultra Ball... Oh, I don't even need to use Ultra Ball. Perfect. Empoleon. Grab me some more uh, cards. And let's uh, lock you down. Do I want to get something back? Not yet. Not yet. Time to use this. So I got two Empoleon. This is time for Empoleon Break. But... Okay, that's not good. Oh, that's pretty good. I reshuffled you in. And let's go ahead and burn my hand just a little bit more and poly and break. Oh, yeah. So there we go. We got a really powerful tech coming up. And now let's continue to lock. I, this is really slowing them down. So, oh, another one. Gosh. Here we go. Waking Punch. 50 damage version or 70 damage version now. Oh, hoo -hoo. So two prize guards for me. Reggie Ice, Rub Seas. Ooh, if I put Rub Seas out, that's gonna, that's gonna help them heal. So now I have no items on me. This thing can do only a max of 60 damage. There comes these bats. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, so what? how much damage can you do now? You can do technically 120 damage if the calculations are correct. You know what I mean by that. So I'm, so I'm probably gonna have to follow up with a punch, I believe. I believe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know these things. And let's see. Taking a look at my deck, I believe I can set up a third Apollyon line. So we're might we're we're definitely gonna go for that, guys. So Seismatel takes a little bit of damage. Shaman's pulling through, and he's if he sets up his bat lines, I'm gonna take a, quite a bit of damage. But he is completely so 60 damage. Okay, okay. And uh, all right. I can definitely grab a Skyla, but first, let's go ahead and discard two cards. I'll throw away the Ultra Ball. I'll throw away the Reggie Ice. Because, you know, I, I have so many, plenty of good Pokemons. Oh, it is another Empoleon break. I was looking for a Piplo. So let's go ahead and grab you. And let's see. I think I can pull off a Rough Seas. Let's go ahead and pull Rough Seas down. And let's go ahead and charge up another Empoleon. Let's grab some more cards. Thank you, my Sushi Master. Okay, we're going to not use quite too much just yet. We're going to use the Verse Seeker. I'm going to use the Verse Seeker. I'm going to grab Pokemon Center Lady. And I'm going to heal you. So, here we go. Heal you up. You're completely full health. And now we both can use the Stadium. I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. I'm going to pull some more cards out. It's not time to use that item. 
It's kind of like what happens when I use life in Pokemon Center. 70 damage. I'm still looking if it's time to write Super Rod. No, I don't want any of these Pokemon bats. I'd rather use the Super Rod for energies. Which is why I'm saving it. I'm not playing it. Okay. So now, you, you definitely should tap the Stadium. 40 damage. And it's enough for me to switch out and finish you off. So you're going to die. Yes, and Poly and Break. We want to see that happen. Put your energies... <laughs> the Stadium is going to really, really help me out. So there we go. He heals himself just a bit. Thank you for filling up your bench. Professor Birch. Oh, Birch. The Birch question. The question. Do you love him? Oh, ow. All right. So go on. Pile up all your damage. I'm going to heal this up. I'm just going to heal this up. But now, Polly and Frank, it's time to show up for you. So oh, 110 damage. That, that kind of stings. Let's go ahead. And Polly and Break, you're up on the field. Let's heal up. I'm happy the way my car is looking right now. Empress Command should finish you off. Totally finish you off. 150 damage. Yes, it's not bugged up. So, two more prize cards for me. Where are you, Lysander? Ah, you're not here. I'm not wonder if you're in my deck or not. I haven't seen you. Uh -oh. Okay, so Golbat is here. And I really got to, if I can Lysander this out, I'm going to finish the game. But maybe I just going to have to go and just swipe it. Go back. You're gone. Hello, and these bats, the stadium, this one card can counter the bats so darn hard. And he's going to use Sycamore. What is this item? He does not have any spirit link, so we're not going to see Mega Manetric. Okay. All right, I have 16 cards left. My stadium is gone. My stadium's gone. And he's going to use trainer mail. What's in the mail? No, there are plenty of trainer items. He is finally happy the item lock is gone. All right. So, oh, I drew a Piplup. Rare candy and Pollyon. Woo! Okay. So he is somehow has to take out 190 hit point in Pollyon. And let me see if I have another Rub C's out. Nope. I, I believe both my Rub C's are discarded. Nope, just one of them. I changed mine. I still have uh, uh, one more FC's card, so... Yeah, so Brobat's gonna come out. 30 damage. We're gonna heal that up. Oh, you really want to finish my Seismitoad up. Okay, I hear a jerk. And Crobat's damage doesn't do that much. 30, so we may just go all out and try to finish this off. Alright. I can see that. Oh my gosh, another one! Oh, he might get, he might get, he's gonna get really close. Or he may just get it, I don't know. I don't know, so he may AZ, I don't know if he did AZ or not, but... You jerk. You jerk. You jerk, guys, like, oh, save me, save me, Donald. I'll, I will, I will, skill dive, goes for that card. Alright, when we have the verse secret, that's gonna be awesome if I pull it. No, so, we are gonna pull Skyla out, we're gonna pull something to heal you up. Soothing Seas. So let's go ahead and throw you down. Let's go ahead and replace that stadium so you can't actually attack unless you do something. Heal you up. And here we go. Polly and Empress Command. Or something. I believe that's what it's called. Yep. Take you out. One more prize guard. And hopefully you're going to survive. Burst Seeker. How many hit points do you have? 40 damage. 40 hit points. Another Crobat's come out. It's like, I want you. In, a, in, in, in an aggressive way. Not the other, other way that you're thinking of. Okay, so okay, so we got a Minetric charging up, but if I I just need one prize guard, you're gonna verse seeker, probably for a Lysander. Lysander is gonna save you, or maybe it's something for an energy. Nope, AZ. What? AZ probably a shaman. No, you're gonna pick the entire Crobat lineup. Oh, I see, I see. So he oh. This thing can use overrun and attack this, but I healed it last turn. Oh, wait. I go, oh, he got me. He got my seismic zone. So now this is gonna do 70 damage, and then overrun's gonna finish it off. I could not save my seismic zone. I'm sorry, man. You were just one turn too late, so he's gonna get it. <laughs> oh, all right. And not only that, I am not gonna be able to one-shot this this Empoleon. So two prize cards. He still needs to get another two more prize cards. So that was... he's doing. He did it pretty good. So we're gonna use Rare Candy. We're gonna Vol Piplup. And now I have pretty much no 
basic Pokemons whatsoever. I think I'm in good shape. I'm gonna heal everything off. It lies. Nope. Don't have anything else I really want to do. Let's just go teammates. What in my deck do I really want right now? Now let me just get something just in case Lysander comes out. And maybe some energy. So oh, I already picked everything out. Killed. So there we go. What's in my last prize card? Oh, it's Reggie Ice. I was just curious. I was just curious. Emperor's Command is bug. But the league's gonna do full damage at 150 anyways. Even though it's supposed to do 120. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, 120. Heals it up, but come on, you cannot survive. You have to retreat and send something else out. And I think nothing else, I don't think he can keep him alive whatsoever. But go ahead, Lysander, go ahead, do whatever you like, man. Skyla, did I play my professor's letter? Good, I, I think I'm good. So he surprised me. I thought next turn was gonna be it. I was gonna finish it off next turn, but he took out my seismitoad and I'm waiting. And now, oh, Verse Seeker. What's it gonna be, Zoroxic or Lysander? It is Lysander. Okay, do your worst, do your worst. Pick whoever you like, I teammates specifically. Because I knew you were gonna do that. So you're gonna fish out my Empoleon. All right, I can pull out the Empoleon break, but again, probably, yeah, yeah. You're gonna get a Floatstone, man, overrun. Who are you gonna choose? It does absolutely zero damage, technically, because dude disrupts these. Oh, no. Oh. I, I still take 10 damage. Forgot about your bust my hand. There we go. Free retreat. Send out Apollyon. And we are gonna finish you off. Empress Command. Other attack. But 150 damage. Yeah, that's right. There we go. Yes. And epic. Second round of the tournament. We're gonna have to do a focus But, uh, on the final round by default. Final match is my most humiliating, humiliating match. I took on Mewtwo. I took on Manetric Bats. This Articuno has one more prize card left to win. Literally, if he takes one more prize card, he's gonna win. I cannot believe. Is for dogs. You cannot answer the dog break question because there's just so many blends. Welcome to the final round of the tournament. Just get this over with. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and bridge it. Let's grab out Rimmeraid, Piplup, and Piplup because I want to tech as many Empoleons as much as possible. I'm not grabbing Reggie Ice because I think this is basic blue. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on, and I'm gonna end my turn. That's gonna be it. I'm looking at my Rimmeray because that's the card I need to get more cards. The bridge, the gate. And, alright Articuno, definitely you should be up. Skitty, we see Doduo, and he's gonna get hit by an item block the next turn. So, actually the item block, Sleep is gonna interfere a lot with the item block. Because I'm gonna go to sleep next turn. And we gotta get rid of it somehow. So Grenade Hammer, uh, woke up. And you know what, I'm feeling safe enough to take the aggressive. So, we'll go ahead and put... Oh. Hang on. Let me go ahead and discard these two cards. I'm okay with putting the energy on, but I forgot I'm using an Ultra Ball, so... Okay, all my auxiliaries are gone. Like, literally all of them. They're all priced up. In that case, we're gonna grab... This is a hard choice. Cannot believe it. Cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. All my artilleries are locked up. So, yeah, that was a bad idea. Discard some cards and get Quake and Punch. Take this. 30 damage. So, this is basic blue. You has a handicap. It has a handicap. So, there you go. Maybe it may, maybe I may be in the one in trouble. So, there we go. Thir you cannot play any items. Another energy goes on. It is a fire energy. Okay, and he's gonna zap me sleep, and Seismoso is gonna sleep this time. That is not so good. I'm gonna end my turn. Tails, nice. I need some prize cards. I need to get my Pokemon off the deck. So he's still sleeping for the turn. Maybe he'll wake up this turn. 
So potion completely heals it up. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe. All right, we're just gonna have to go through with this. He just needs one more energy and to wake up, and I'm I'm in good spot. Maybe. I cannot say. My opponent has free reign because Gyarados is coming. That is definitely a card for basic blue, but he needs to have a magic card first, so maybe. Professor Slatter's gonna have the right energy. He's gonna start pounding on my Seismitope, but that means he cannot I, go to sleep, so I'm just gonna pound you back. I need a rare candy. I need a Skyline something. Ah, Floatstone Heart Charm. I really would have loved that Heart Charm. So, Tricycle Edge. Heads! Tails! One more Tails! Two heads! Ow! Jerk, 100 damage, he's gonna two-shot me, and you're gonna sleep through it? Come on, man. Alright, given that I know that I don't have anything else, I'm just gonna have to... There we go, you woke up. Good job. Good job. Alright, so... He's gonna take three prize cards off me, I cannot believe it. Tiano, two more cards, and... Oh, heavy ball. What? Heavy ball? Regios. No, chest spin. I cannot believe this is not. Cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. All right, so I can survive if he only flips one head. If it's two heads, I'm going down, and he's gonna take the three prize cards. I'm definitely gonna have to send Seismitoad out and buy some time. So tails, heads, two heads again. Oh my gosh, and it takes out my Seismitoad. I cannot. Wow, the sleep. Everything in your favor, man. All right, two prize cards, three prize cards for you. Seismodo comes up. You got a tank for me, man. All right, so we're gonna see a rare candy, but I need, I need energies. I need energies for a comeback. So maybe we can judge. But I can't judge this turn, so I'm gonna grab out what I desperately, really, really, truly need, which is items. So let's go ahead, grab two energies on. And I'm going to go ahead and just charge you up with one of these things. And then I will end my turn. So, there's that. And, okay. Your move, man. Your move. He's probably not going to put me to sleep. He's going to go keep on spamming Tricycle Edge. So, I need... I need those tails to happen. I really need those tails to happen. Or I need just need to draw some amazing, amazing pools. Like, Professor's Lady, uh... Pokemon Center Lady. Simus Age is coming out. And once this Articuno goes down, I should be okay. Unless he knocks out my Seismatoon. That's just going to be the end of the game. So Lysander. Oh, you're going to go for my Piplup. And that's just going to be two more prize cards for you. So that that's not so good. So can he can he survive it? It has to be all tails. So one heads. There's the heads. Yikes. Two prize cards. This Articuno. This art I am stuck, but hey, Seismitoad is up. If he has Lysander, I'm in trouble. It's all to the next card. Okay, so we got an energy. We're going to use the Verse Seeker and grab out Skyla. And you know what? Yes, Skyla, I need you to grab me. This is tough. You might just grab me a rare candy. Just grab me a rare candy. And we are going to evolve our Piplup. There we go. Piplup and Polyan, you are now up. Please do not have another Lysander. Here we go. Quaking Punch. 50 damage. Actually, yeah, 50 damage. You cannot play any items. That sucks when the... Okay, no. No. Game on play it. I still need three more hits, or I need to pull an energy to knock you out. So. Let's do this. Articuno, what are you going to do? So now he has a free retreat. No, that is not even the ability of Dodrio. Furfro is coming up next. It has the ability to use paralysis. And what will you do, Articuno? You cannot knock me out one shot whatsoever. So we may go for a sleep. Wake up. Yes. 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 And we're going to put another prize card. I'm sorry, not another prize card. Grenade hammer. I'm not going to let you take this. And... I have to choose Piplup. He has just one more prize card to take me down. That is not good. So my Pokemon are really vulnerable. There we go. It took you out. Draw me an auxiliary. Pick the auxiliary town map, but that's gonna be auxiliary Vex. I Yeah, it's, it totally will be. Alright. So Furfrawl is up. 
and he's I'm just waiting for Lysander to come in and, uh, and finish the game off. Maybe it's, maybe, maybe it's good. So Pokeball, all right, flip a coin. Tails does not work. That is an effective ball. And all right, for from you can paralyze me. I could be uh, in a big trouble, or he could just use Sharp Fang. Sharp Fang is already pretty bad. And here we go, Tight Jaw, 20 damage. Paralysis. He is, can play items this turn. What are we gonna play? All right, we're gonna play this. We're gonna play this, and we're gonna play this. And I'm gonna end my turn. And let me take a look at those two prize step on. Sorry. Ow! Ow! Okay. Do not pull Isaiah. Do not pull Isaiah. Did that Articuno? Oh my God! Getting extra prize cards is so dangerous. So Sharp Fang, he's gonna go for damage this time. Oh, okay, okay. And this time, oh, Birch. Thank you, Birch. So here we go, Tails. Gonna grab out. All right, and Polly and Break, you are now out. And I've already used the trainer. Let's go ahead and use Grenade Hammer. Here we go. Pick and Polly and pick my biggest hit points Pokemon. Do not have to take my last prize cards. And we're gonna grab out cards to evolve it. Which is. All right, I can use this. Oh no. I didn't grab my auxiliary again. But that's okay, that's okay, because this was the guy in critical danger and, and, and that. I should have just grabbed my auxiliary and Skyla next turn for my Empoleon. But Dodrio is now out, and Rage does 20 damage, so I am still vulnerable to being KO'd next turn. Alright, but by picking that, I can also Skyla for one of my stadiums, unless they are both prized up. And I can also, I'm still able to get another prize card sister, so maybe that was really the right choice after all. Yeah, yeah, that is not so bad. Okay, and we see Simisage gonna use Torment, and that's gonna lock me up and deal double damage to me. Oh, this is not so good. So here we go, we're gonna evolve Piplup, and Empoleon comes up two Empoleons. I think I can knock him out. No, 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 I can't. 70 damage, still 70 damage. Skyla, give me my Stadium. Let's start healing off the damage I've been taking those few turns. So there we go. And we're gonna use the rough seeds. Woo, that feels good, doesn't it? Grenade hammer. Uh, yeah, that should finish you off. You and Reggie Ice. Take this. Knock out Pokemon. 170 damage is enough to knock out. And EX Pokemon now. Most, mostly. And hang on with one prize card. Ooh, okay. Okay, so Sigma Sage can lock up my Grenade Hammer. So I'm not going to be able to knock it out next turn. But eh, it's okay, we can item lock you. And Torment, which which are you going to lock up? I don't know, we'll find out. We'll find out. He's, he's choosing. You should pick the Grenade Hammer. So oh, I'm going to item lock you. First of all, we're going to use uh, you. We're going to evolve you. And we're going to judge. But now, no, it's not time to use judge yet. Hey, grab me some more cards. What are you gonna grab me? A rare candy. Now I'm gonna judge. Yes, let's go ahead and judge away. You have less cards. I have less cards. And we are gonna charge up. Ooh, Reggie Ice is ready to go, but I wanna have a choice next turn of which two Pokemon I want to charge up. Soothing seas. Grenade. Oh, I guess he didn't lock it up. So in that case, I can choose any po two Pokemon whatsoever. Here we go. Take another 170 damage. And I'm gonna grab out. What am I? What am I gonna grab out? I'll take another rare candy into it. Just, just, just cause. And one more, two more prize cards for me to take. Del Caddy Energy Salon. Can use paralysis if you use double cause. This is done. I was in deep trouble with this deck, but this is over. So this is what happens when you're two auxiliaries are prize. So maybe in the improvement section, put in. Add more draw supporters just in case, so you can have more balanced option of what you do. So this time, I want to choose my Polly and Break. We're gonna grab some more cards out, and maybe it's, I can get another Piplup out. You know what? The game might be already over already. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna grab out Bridget, and we'll just we're gonna play it through seriously though. So, here we go. Bridget, grab me out my... Oh my gosh, there's not another Piplup. 
it was probably in my price. I don't know where it is. I don't care. Here we go. We're gonna use grenade hammer. Pick you and you. We're not even gonna use suit. And all right. There we go. I'll grab you, Bert. That was close. If this, if I, if this would have been so humiliating. <sighs> if, yeah, yeah. So now one vulnerability explodes. And all right, Ante, you are up. Combat blaze is good. You're significant. Oh, did I? Double cause energy comes on. Combat blaze would have done. 120 damage, and that would have been barely able to almost knock me out. So all you can use is Burning Roar, but 20 plus 5. Bench, is it Bench Pokemon? Yeah, Bench Pokemon. Woo! Dodge the bullet, yeah, yeah. And if he could have Lysandered in my Pokemon, that would have been it. So... Woo! Woo! Okay, heal everybody up again, and we're gonna finish this. Grenade Hammer! I guess I have to pick two Pokemon. There we go. Squeak this. Got it. Squeak through. <laughs> Squeak through. And victory. But that is... That is a victory. <laughs> yes. Yes. Just... Oh. Yeah. Congratulations. You made it to the end. So it is time we rate this deck. Saw how I did against Mega Mewtwo. Saw how I did against Manetric. And Articuno and Basic Blue. So, it's gonna have to be a B. Why? Because it's so versatile. You have so many tools at your disposal. High damage, high amount of healing, EX immunity locks, balance weakness to like, well, one's weak against ice, others are weak against grass, so there's that. Item locks, all those you can use to help you win. And you saw all those come into play at various different times. Weakness, is the complexity of the setup. I mean, we're using a four evolution line. Technically, it's three with rare candies. But yeah, and the poly break. Pretty darn cool. And Skyla, I still think Skyla and Octillery is the most optimal deck entry for this because you can choose all the parts that you really, really need to set up instead of having to depend on a random hand. But if Octillery is down, you can try to reduce those Skylas and add in draw supporters like Sycamore, Shauna, and then you won't be backed up until Octillery comes out to play. Or maybe you're concerned about the rare candy. I use it for the speed, and it works really well with Skyla. And you can use Wally, you can add in the print loops, but they do compete because Skyla, Wally, yeah. and Skyla, Skyla's just so great. And Lysander. Oh, Lysander, where were you? Oh, I missed you during the match, so I had forgotten I'd taken you out. And we're gonna have to find a way to squeeze you back in. But the way I have it runs pretty smoothly. I almost got the formula down. So, that's that. Next time, Articuno, you were impressive. So Dragon Age must be more impressive, eh? We're gonna go and use this deck. And probably Magmortar. That, that, that's cool. Magmortar's gonna come right afterwards. Maybe King Jura Charizard. I don't know how I feel like. Oh, they're new, they're new promo cards too. Anyways, please like, subscribe. You sure could get more cards deck videos just like this and if you like this awesome t-shirt it's gonna make you look really sexy you can check out the link at the top of my youtube channel and if you like any of the music i have an album going up on spotify itunes but if you don't rather wait there's this on soundcloud oh yeah it's fully updated now and thank you very much integrals and differentials i will see you back in my kitchen next time bye bye